Well, I could tell you a horrible thing. Uh, the saddest thing, the one one thing that made me so much stronger and 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 confirm my belief in everything. Hey ladies, welcome back to my Fierce Aging series. So today we have a fabulous guest, Maxine. She's 78 years old. And you know what's so funny about this? My first vlog that I did, it was a couple weeks ago, I made a little pit stop on my way out to Williams-Sonoma and I ran into Maxine. She waited on me and she helped me with all of the things that I needed. And it was so much fun because she made the connection that she watched the show and I said, do you want to be on the show? And so she said, yes. And we have her here today sharing her amazing life story and some really great kind of advice for women just in life. And it's really, really fun for me to learn about you, to bring you here on the channel. And it was just kind of, we just randomly kind of met, which was just really fun and it makes it more special. So ladies, are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. Okay, so I was gonna have it on my on my cue card. This is new, <laughs> but I didn't print it out, so I have my phone instead for my questions. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted it to be like you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. I'm 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 close. I'm close to it. Okay, so this is what <clears throat> I wrote down some really great notes for you. Okay. All right. So let me take you back to 1979. When you got married in Las Vegas. Oh, my God. T-shirts and shorts. Yes. $10. What, what made you decide to get... You went from California to Las Vegas. Mm. What made you get, want to get married in Las Vegas? It was... We, we, we were living together at that time. And he said, you know, we... Uh, let's go to Las Vegas. And they were doing bus runs from Southern California to Las Vegas, like $59 a person or whatever. And you'd go for the weekend and you'd stay at a hotel and um, low budget. And um, you would come go on Friday afternoon and come back Sunday. So we talked about it and he goes, let's go and get married. And I said, all right. He says, no family. Oh, perfect, no family. So it was just our friends. And as he told the guys he worked with, who were our friends, um, that everybody wanted to go. So we all went in the bus on Friday and um, we got married on Saturday and we went to the courthouse, $10 to get our license. And I did not have a bouquet, so my girlfriends picked dandelions and outside of the courthouse and tied him with a string. <laughs> and that's what I held. And um, the judge, who was just adorable, married us. And my best girlfriend, Donna, was my maid of honor. And this other friend of ours, Jim, my husband's best friend, he was our groomsmen and uh, all of our friends were there. And then we stayed, um, we had a dinner at uh, oh, a Japanese restaurant in one of the hotels. And we came home on Sunday. And how old were you? 34. Wow. And two weeks later, we had a wedding reception for family and everybody okay. at one of the clubs in uh, down at the beach. In, um, in California? In Newport Beach, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was exciting. It was, but my husband was marvelous. He was in the boat business. Uh huh. And so everything we did, or uh, it, it all centered around the boat industry, the marine industry. So. So did you ever think that you were going to be in your thirties getting married in Las Vegas? No. If you would have told me on December 17th that the next, in 78, that the next day I was going to meet this guy and we were going to be married eight months later, I would have laughed you off of the world. No way. I was a confirmed bachelorette. I did, I did not want to get married. I did not want any kind of a relationship. I was fine by myself. With life reflections, right? With 78. You mentioned being happy with what you've done and where you've been in life. Looking back, what are some of the key moments or experiences that have shaped you? 
Well, I could tell you horrible thing. Uh, the saddest thing, the one one thing that made me so much stronger and 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 confirm my belief in everything was my daughter died of breast cancer. Oh no, I'm sorry. And I took care of her. We that's I retired early and moved to Florida um, to help take her husband take care of her at the end. And as she was. It, as everything was getting worse and worse and worse, and, and especially at the end, I said to her husband, um, yeah, her husband, this, we have to treat this as a business, not emotional. We've got to take emotions out of this situation. And when we're alone, we can cry and scream and yell. But when we're faced with tragedy, you have to let your mind go in a, uh, a business strong area so you can handle something. That has helped me a lot. I went to parochial school when I was young. That helped me immensely. Mm. It took a wild child and just kind of straightened it right out. Kind of. You got married in Vegas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it didn't do all that good. <laughs> you did a little deviation, but a fun I did. one. I did. I did. I did. Oh, yeah. I was, I was wild. I, I was. I, it, there was no halo here. <laughs> we're going to start off with our fiercely smooth this is going to be our face primer i'm going to just use my foundation brush i call it my flat foundation brush because we do have a buffing brush and this is my essential makeup brush kit so this is what i'm going to be pulling from just very simple you don't need five thousand brushes you just need okay. enough just mm -hmm. to get you through and be able to travel with and make it very simple so we're going to apply this to the whole face As I'm prepping, I'm going to prep the lips with a rose lip balm. This will be nice because by the time we get to your lips with the lipstick and the lip liner, it's going to be nice and hydrated. I'm going to start off with our eye primer. This is my first step. This is going to neutralize out your eye. It's going to make your eyeshadow last all day and it's going to look true. So it's going to look like the actual color in your eyeshadow compact. I'm gonna use my angled concealer brush to apply this to the eye. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going from the base of the lash all the way up to the brow bone and in that inner corner right there that seems to get really nice and dark as we age, we're gonna just neutralize out that area. You'll notice, ladies, that we have a little uh, vein that's coming through the eye lid right here and it's just gonna diffuse it. It's not gonna cover it completely. We're just wanting to diffuse just anything that is a pigmentation on the, on the eyelid. We have a little bit of this permanent makeup that we've had for a very long time. We're just gonna diffuse it out just a little bit with our eye primer. I'm going to take my skinny brow pencil in taupe. We're going to beautify the brows and make them look beautiful. And if you don't know, when you have thinner brows as we age, this is very normal. Sometimes we don't have the lateral part. Sometimes the medial part is thinning. We're just going to make them look as natural as possible. And I go from the outer corner of the nose straight up. That's where we should be starting according to Maxine's bone structure. Then I would take it over the nose, ball of the nose, over the iris. This is where we would be arching a little bit. And then corner of the eye at the end of the brow right here. So I like to just follow what we naturally have. And I'm gonna make short little strokes like her hair. So you can see that I'm just really filling this in. It's not gonna to be too dark because I'm using taupe. And then this part here, I want to just give that the nice little wispy. So we're starting and you can see, I made that a little bit, that first mark a little heavy. All we do is just take the spoolie and let's just comb it out a little bit so we can go back over. And it's all about your pressure. So if you want a heavier line, you want a darker line, add more pressure. You want it lighter, coming over here, just do a lighter stroke. So we're just making these look really beautiful. And then we will just use a little brow mascara to give that extra little definition. Again, on this side, you would just go from the outer corner of the nose straight up right here. So you can see that just this little area here needs just a little bit more of that stroking through with color. And then I don't wanna go too high 
I'm going to just bring it down just a tad. You know that I like to give some shading underneath here so the brow doesn't sit so high. We can check the other side too to see. I'm going to just bring it down just a tiny bit. Still want it to look natural. What would you say your biggest issue is with your makeup? Like what feature do you struggle with the most? The biggest thing for me is is to get the redness out of my mm. face. That's that it this especially. Mm -hmm. These especially. I spent a lot of time in the sun when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I, I well growing up and I do. I've always lived at the beach. Mm -hmm. So of course you've got all of these little souvenirs. Right. <laughs> And so I I like to get that kind of like even okay. as I put my makeup on. Okay. What feature do you like to enhance? Eyes. Your eyes. Always. Okay. Always the eyes. We're going in with Sweet Carol. This is our Three Well Eyeshadow Palette. They're talc-free, very silky and smooth. This palette here is two mattes and one sheen in the middle. And I thought these colors would look beautiful on Maxine. I have two little brushes that come in the compact so you can be on the go and you can touch up or apply your mask or your eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my flat eyeshadow brush to go into that middle color here and we're going to give a nice wash of color. I don't shy away from a little sheen on eyes. Really? <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. Liz. I'm just, you're going to see that this eye primer will grab the eyeshadow. That's what it's supposed to do. It is creamy, so you might see a tiny bit of creasing, just like over here, and you just pat it down. It is, now we are under hot lights here, but if you see that, sometimes you'll see it on my uh, makeup tutorials, it's a creamy product. That is what it does because it's waiting for that eyeshadow to be put on on top of it, so it's setting it up. So this is a really just a beautiful palette. There's lots of range with it because the matte eyeshadow is very, very pigmented. So you can see just a really pretty, it's pulling in this beautiful color shirt that Maxine has on. And I just really, I love how you can build this up or you can have it to be just like a nice wash of color. You can really play with it the way you want to. And it's not a glitter, it's not a high sheen. It's just gonna give you a little bit of something and not just be matte. I'm going to take the other side of the brush and this is a kind of a soft petal pink and I'm going to do the brow bone. Now I'm going in with the darkest color and I'm going to take my short smudge brush. I like to call this my little eraser brush. I say this, I say this on repeat in every <laughs> single video, but it is. If you mess up, you can just blend it out because it has this dense brush, right? Yeah. So if you did wrong eyeliner or you're doing something, you can just really erase. That's why I, that's why I call it my little eraser. So I'm going to, I want to add a little definition to Maxine's eyes here. And so what I want to do is I want to concentrate on close to the lash line and I'm going to bring this up. I don't worry about extra lid skin. That does not bother me. It does not make me want to not put anything on that. I just work with the eye and where I want to see the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna come up. You notice that I'm not coming down here. I don't wanna drag it down. I wanna stay closer to the three quarters of this eye, and then we're going to build this up, do a little definition here. Again, I start off slow. I don't want too much shadow. I want to see, and I can also clean this up with my little eye makeup remover pad because I don't have any concealer on, I don't have any serum foundation or anything yet, and I can see what I want to do. So I'll just take a little bit more, build up this color, give her that nice definition, come across this lash line. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this eye. So I'm coming down on this lash line, I'm coming straight up. You know that I like to take almost like the lash, the last lash and just go straight up from there. So I'm not bringing the eye down. I'm not following the eye and where it's going. I'm going to push this color in towards the nose. So you're going to see I had a little bit more eyeshadow on this eye. So I'm just blending it out, just making it really nice and blended with the other color that I put on, but just enough definition. 
I'm going to be using my Plum Waterproof Eyeliner. Very nice and smooth. We are just gonna go right over the permanent makeup that you have and just thicken it up a little bit with this Plum. So I'm going to go right at the base of the lash line here and I'm going to just drag it across. Maybe bring it up just a tad at the end here and coming across Doing okay? Yeah. Just gonna take a little bit of my plum eyeliner and just drag it across. And kind of just fill in what she already has on with that permanent makeup. I'm gonna be using my Volume Up Mascara. This is a wonderful mascara in black. We have fabulous reviews on this and I'm thrilled because I spent so much time designing this mascara with my engineers, with the wand, with the formula to get every single baby lash. Mm -hmm. As you know that you have when we start aging, I have like a hole right now in mine, which happens. It's like that cycle. So I get to like make it so it, the hole's not so apparent because I'm able to manipulate with these little baby teeth, it's like a comb. Mm -hmm. So if you look down, I'm going to just grab your lashes at the base. So you kind of feel like it's like a comb mm -hmm. pulling up all these lashes and you get to see them when you finish applying this. But I really wanted you to, to get the most out of your mascara. So I'm just adding on the lash, just like I did on her other eye and I cut the end because I didn't want it to be too long. I like them to be a little bit shorter. So when she opens her eye, open, it, it stops right here. It's not dragging the eye down. It's just a little extra. I love doing lashes because I think that when you come to do your makeup, <laughs> I mean, I would be doing you a disservice if you didn't have just lashes. I don't put them on everybody, but I think that it just adds a little extra and then I can see where I'm gonna go with doing a little bit more eyeshadow or it just kind of completes the look for me. So what we're gonna do now is let's start working on the skin. We're gonna first start with your main issue, the redness. So we have a color corrector called No Redness. So basically the green cancels out the red. So what you're gonna do is you would take this stick and you are going to basically just eradicate the redness in your skin. So I would just take over you don't you, it depends on how how much you want to apply for yourself you can do it at first maybe because you haven't used this before just do a little coating maybe you want to do a heavier one so i like to just concentrate on the red area i'm going to take my flat foundation brush and i'm going to just work this into the skin so we just neutralized out the redness just a little bit you don't want to be afraid that, you know, you have like kind of like this greenish cast to your skin. That's really what you want. You want to basically pull down that redness and then it sets your skin up for a BB cream or the serum foundation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Just Peachy, which is a color corrector also. So this is a peach color that's going to just take out any of that darkness. So you can go right underneath the eyes if you want to. You can go on just these kind of pigmentation spots just to lift them just a little bit. I'm gonna do a, just a light, a light coating underneath the eyes here, not too much. I'm gonna be using our serum foundation that we just launched. This is a beautiful formulation that I really worked hard on because I love serum foundations. I just, I tested so many in 2022 that I knew exactly what I wanted out of a serum foundation, very light, very just kind of like buffing the skin, a nice veil, but not heavy. There's some serum foundations that say serum and then you put it on, it's like a full, full coverage. And I didn't want that. So you have to shake this bottle before and it's going to be just, you can see, wow. maybe, maybe wow. three to four drops. If you use too much, it's just gonna go everywhere and it's not going to be what you're looking for. It's gonna be too much because it does spread really nicely. So I'm going to take my foundation buffing brush. I'm going to take some of the serum foundation and this is the light. It's going to be more of a cool neutral, more leaning towards that. I don't want to say warm, but it's not going to be a pinky undertone. It's more of a kind of just a neutral.
I'm going to add the concealer on at this part because I wanted to kind of see how much I would need. I don't want to add too much to Maxine's under eye. So I'm going to just give her like four little dots here and then we'll work that in with our conceal angled concealer brush. I'm just going to set the under eyes with my Nikita Banana. This is going to be my brightening powder. It's finely milled, so I'm going to take my powder brush and I'm going to just underneath the eyes, just press it in. So it's just setting up the concealer. I'm taking Classic Beach Glow. Now this is an all cream palette, so it's going to be nice and radiant and pretty. So if you use cream powders, or <laughs> have you used cream blushes? Yes, actually, okay. I have. So you have a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. So you can do whatever you want. You can use your fingers if you want to. I'm using my um, flat foundation brush because I kind of feel that you kind of get a really nice, just beautiful application smile. So we're gonna go just right on the cheeks, bring it up, have that come through. Just like really beautiful, like it's her natural flushing. I'm going to take the other side of the brush and I'm going to put in the highlighter. I just want a little highlight right here on the cheek. So I've got a high cheek. It's not glitter, it's just like this beautiful just radiance. And then you know what? I'm gonna take just the tips and I'm gonna do a little bronzer and then I just work it up into the blush. Give you just a little, just a little bronzer contour. Taking my waterproof lip liner in Cameo. It's one of my favorites to do. I'm gonna line Maxine's lips like I normally do, just very natural. Just really kind of working on giving that definition to the lip. I'm going to take my concealer slash lip brush. You have a retractable lip brush here. And I'm going to use Nick Ray on your lips. And then we're going to go over with a little Coco 13. It's one of my favorite combinations. This just looks really pretty. This is gonna give you some nice kind of hydration, not too glossy, not too over the top. This is a very pretty lipstick that if you're wanting something a little bit more natural but with still some pigment. I'm going to top it off with my Coco 13. You can wear this alone. You can wear Nick Ray by itself if you want to. But I always like to do like a signature combo. I always like to add a little bit of that sheen just, I think it looks really fresh, especially for mature lips. I almost forgot to add my blonde brow mascara to your brows. <laughs> I mean, we can't forget that. So I'm just going to just comb through. So all of these these little hairs that Maxine has gets coated and it gives you more of a look that you have more hair. So it gives that dimension. I now, since I'm finished with the makeup, I want to go back to the eyes just a little bit. And this is what you can do, if, say if you're going out and you're kind of playing it back and you're saying, oh, you know what? I can do a little bit more now that my look's complete. I have my blush on, my lips on. Do I need a little bit more eyeshadow? So I'm just going to close. Just add a little bit more shadow because I was doing more of a wash of color. This is very buildable. So I'm just going back to the middle color, adding a little bit more on because I want to see a little bit more color there. And I think that it just looks so beautiful, so fresh. And 
just really complementing what Maxine's wearing. And I might do just a tiny bit more because I can't, can't help myself. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> Still want to play. Just this darker color here, I'm going to just add the end for the eyeliner and just going to kind of just smoke it up just a tad. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. My last step is going to be just some beautiful rose water. This is just going to make you feel wow. fabulous and just beautiful. So just keep your eyes closed. Let me just fix the hair just a little bit. Looking beautiful. I like the color a lot on you. I mean, I never, I haven't seen you with any colors before. I don't think you were wearing much makeup when I met you. I was my normal. Yeah. <laughs> just looks so pretty. It looks really just fresh. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just looks fresh. Looks beautiful. Now it could be, this is like evening, right? So say you're going out. I mean, this is not, you know, this is, this is, we're doing it up for you today, mm -hmm. but this is just to kind of they say you're going to come with me when I go to that party. And... Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is a party look. Oh, good Lord, it's my mom. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Would it be colors you would wear? Those would be definitely colors I would wear. So you can really play around with this and see, you know, what you like with the eyeshadow palette. You don't have to use all three colors. You can use one. You can use just the, the bone color with your natural days. It you just, can... it, it, it blends well. I like that. You don't, you know, it's not a clowny look. No, no. And you can do as light as you want or, as, or more. But if we were doing like an evening look and you were going out and you were wearing this or something that was darker or, you know, it would really, it, your features would really pop because of the coloring. Did you think that you were going to work that day? You were going to be on set oh, the gosh. next couple weeks doing makeup <laughs> oh, and no, looking beautiful? No, When I saw you, it was like, I know you. I, <laughs> you were, you were in the wrong place. You were in my work area all the time. <laughs> no, so, it was so much fun. I'm so happy that you came and you shared and exciting history with you. Yeah, good. I, it's fun to be here. This was an experience. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. It was It was fun to have you here and to learn more about you and share your beauty with the ladies. I mean, they love hearing about, you know, fun things and getting married in Vegas and just, you know, it's. I always think when you meet somebody or you see somebody out, you never know the history. I mean, like, what did they go through? What's their story? And you know, it's really fun uncovering that with, with all of my ladies here on Fierce Aging because we all have a story and it's to be shared and to let you inspire other women. 78, working, getting up every day, working out. Mm -hmm. Such an inspiration for women that are, that are coming up to the new decade of being 80. Right. Well, you have to realize that you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. And at this age... You have aging partners, husbands, uh, children, and you have to take care of them. And to take care of them, you have to take care of you. Right, right. I totally agree. And that's such a great note to end on today. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, I'm so happy you joined us today. And Maxine shared her beautiful beauty and stories with us. And until my next video, I'll see you later.